This week on The Tease, Jesus says that the Father is greater than him? What? Hey, que no te confundas. Hey everyone, this is Father Christian here on The Tease, the place where we tease out the scripture before we jump headfirst into it on the weekend. So this weekend, we'll be talking about John 14, verses 23 through 29. That's right, open up your Bibles. I want to start off with one of these big, juicy pieces of text that uh, it, it might catch your eye, but it says, if you loved me, and we're in verse 28 here, if you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father because the Father is greater than I. Verse 28, okay? This is chapter 14, verse 28. Because the Father is greater than I. So it caught me, it's like, holy cow. You know, you always want to have these holy cow moments and just stop right there and start digging around there. What does that mean that the Father is greater than Jesus? Hold up, Jesus. I thought you two were like equal. So what's all this about? We, we need to look at this canonically. And the scripture is always having a conversation with itself and look at the path of Jesus and Jesus's life and other things that he said. Uh, but since this is the tease, we don't want to go too deep because we want to save that for Sunday. But we also need to look at other things where uh, other writers have talked about Jesus. So Philippians 2, 5 through 11. Have this mind among yourself, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, right? So the key thing is he emptied himself by taking the form of a servant. So it wasn't about him expressing this, this power that he has as God. He's, he's able to lower himself in the angels when he came down to heaven, as it says in Hebrews, lower himself in the angels, become like man, in the likeness of man, but still be fully God, but for the point, because humility and servanthood were the folk, was the foci of what Jesus did. That love involves humility, it involves uh, servitude, but also involves a lot of security of yourself to have that kind of love. How much security do you have in God's love for you? And so you have love for yourself, that you don't feel like you need to just carpet everybody with your authority and with your power. Because when we have security in ourselves and we know how much God loves us, and Jesus knew his unity he had with the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, right? So he, 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 he knows that unity. He didn't need to come and express authority and throw authority around and say, ah, look at me, I'm Jesus, I'm the Son of God. No, to him, the, it was all about love because of expressing that love, which involves humility, compassion, forgiveness. So where do you feel like that you need to express your own power, your own strength, and maybe overdo it a little bit because of your own insecurities? And that's where we're going to be going. This, this power of God that loves you so much that you are validated through God and you don't need to express the other powers. That God is constantly teaching you and leading you, as the scripture says. The Holy Spirit is teaching you and leading you to cultivate you, to grow in you, to really bring out the best in you. And you don't need to externally show that on other people in order for you to feel strong. So chew on that for a little bit and bring that to church this Sunday of how God is the one who's validating us and completing us and we don't have to externalize anything. All right, God bless you. I'll see you this Sunday.